let me do a short per force ride through the last 12 months and to explain a little bit more in detail what are the, the key elements which we have seen in the last 12 months. I think we can agree that the, uh, we can uh, divide those 12 months more or less in four phases. The first phase was um, for a lot of people and also experts, very surprisingly, the successful operation of the Ukrainian armed forces at the beginning of the war against the Russian armed forces. Um, the, the corner mark of this first phase was, of course, the withdrawal of uh, the Russian troops from the Kiev uh, region, which had a very, very huge uh, moral impact, a positive one on the Ukrainian forces, because they at that time really thought that they can fight against the Russian armed forces and there can be success. So what then happened was uh, phase number two. While in the first phase, the Ukrainians implied very successfully maneuver or mobile warfare against the Russian troops, in the second phase, the Russians tried to force the Ukrainians into a war of attrition. So already at that time, we had first signs of a war of attrition. That was the time, if you remember, you know, the battle for Lysyshansk and Severodonetsk, when the Russians actually were able to break through the first of line of defense uh, at the Popasna, which in the, is in the east of the country, first line of defense in the, the Donbass region. At that time, it was also clear that uh, ammunition and other resources will be decisive, and the West started to uh, supply weapons uh, to the Ukrainian side, especially artillery systems, artillery ammunition, and of course, then the heavy systems like uh, tanks and others, and of course, also the first air defense uh, systems which appear on the battlefield. Third phase uh, was more or less initiated by the introduction of the HIMARS system, this multiple round rocket launch system, because uh, it was able, by using the HIMARS system, to attack the uh, Russian logistic uh, organization, the also command and control organization. And that uh, gave the Ukrainians time to prepare their own offensives, which later happened in uh, Kharkiv and also in Kherson. In the beginning, Kherson was not so successful because there was heavy attrition done by the Russians on the Ukrainian forces uh, in the Kherson area. But uh, otherwise, on the uh, front at Kharkiv, by using uh, surprise elements, they were able to uh, establish a breakthrough. Uh, and actually, the Russian troops even fleed back uh, over the um, Oskil River to the east uh, of uh, Kupiansk, more or less. Uh. 